Welcome to Netherdale for the Under-26 Nations match between Scotland and Ireland. Scotland have made four changes to the team which beat Italy two weeks ago. The star that day, Mark Bennett, is playing for Glasgow Warriors, so his place has gone to Robbie Ferguson. Gallas Russell Anderson is injured, so Callum Black replaces him at hooker. Sean Lenin is head coach, and Johnny Gray captains the side. For Ireland, Mike Ruddock makes three changes from their win over England. Dara Leader comes in at fullback with Steve Crosby back in at fly half. In the pack, Josh van der Fleer is open side flanker. Out it comes along the back line. Again, a little kick through there. An Irish player slow to turn there. And this could be the first try tonight for the Scots. And it's the fullback Rudy Young from Edinburgh Ackies who gathers the ball and touches down for the first score of the night. Ten minutes on the clock here at Netherdale. Scotland 5, Ireland 0. A lovely strike of the ball there by Allen. Successful conversion. And with 11 minutes played at Netherdale, it's Scotland 7, Ireland 0. Solid Irish scrum there, picked up at the base by Ryan Murphy. Makes good ground. Back it comes for the Irish second row, John Donan. They carry another metre or so. The Scots round there, felt that ball was out. Adam Sinclair, the man at fault there. The referee plays an advantage. A break again by Thomas Daly. Dragged down in the 22. But the referee says no advantage accruing. Back he comes. Sinclair coming round. Offside at the breakdown. So Thomas Daly, who missed an earlier kick from a very similar position, makes no mistake this time and narrows the gap here. Hands Ireland the ball with a scrum on halfway. Intercept there by the Scots. Can the Irish defence get back to make the tackle? They'll not get there and Scotland will score the second try of the night from the interception and the try scorer is Burmuir's right winger Damien Hoyland as Ireland shifted the ball to their left Damien Hoyland took the ball and there was no stopping him as he sped away from the Irish cover defence and Tommy Allen who kicked the earlier conversion of Rudy Young's try now tasked again with adding the extras and he is successful and with 17 minutes on the clock here it's Scotland 14, Ireland 3 Irish then in possession, five metres from the Scots line again, from the line out. The Scots try and drive them back in the tackle, Irish retain possession, out it goes, could be space out there in the corner, referee on the spot. And he awards the try. The Scots defence caught just a little bit short on the blind side there. Irish were alert to it, they spotted it, and quickly moved the ball to the left. And over they go in the corner for their first try of the game. Two tries to the Scots, one for Ireland so far. But great attack in position here for the men in green. Taken from the line out. And driven forward by the Irish, they're very close to that Scots try line now. Out it comes to the back line. David Panter, the right winger is the man who's found just enough of a space in that Scottish defence to dive over and touches down for Ireland's second try of the night. A good drive took play up to the Scottish try line and they shifted play to the right. David Panter was on hand to dive over that line. The front row involved now, Peter Dooley, the loose head. There's a space just round the side of the breakdown there for the Irish offload there. And this could be the third try of the night. Great cover tackle there by the Scots. Defending for their lives now, a metre or so from the Scottish line. The Irish should come up with the ball here. Options both ways, they look like they're going to go to their left. Out it goes to the winger, David Panther, already scored one tonight for the Irish. He stopped just short of that Scottish line. Number eight this time does a good job of offloading that ball before he was driven into touch. The Irish have lost a little bit of ground there, but crucially they should come up with this ball. Well, in fact, the Scots come up with it illegally and the referee has no hesitation there in showing the yellow card. Will Bordle of Sale Sharks, the Scotland open side, 
the man showing the yellow card there. And it comes again from McGrath to the feet of Ryan Murphy. This time, the Irish get the scrum moving forward. In fact, the referee doesn't need a series of scrums. Crossy goes underneath the posts, awards the penalty try to the Irish. No mistake made from in front of the post by Thomas Daly. He adds the extras. It's Scotland 14, Ireland 20. So Rainer Kennedy with his first throw into the lining. A good one at that. Round he comes. As the Scots forwards drive towards the Irish line. Scott's still in possession. Finding it hard going, but a chance down the stand side. An Irish caught short. They are down the blind side, and Damien Hoyland goes in at the corner for the Scots. Short of defenders on the blind side. It was spotted by Ali Price. He gave a scoring pass to the Birmingham winger, Damien Hoyland, who goes in at the corner for the Scots. Scotland 19, Ireland 20, the conversion to come. Tommy Allen. Curled that one back in beautifully. And Tommy Allen takes Scotland back into the lead with about seven and a half minutes left to play here at Netherdale. It's Scotland 21, Ireland 20. The Irish desperately trying to get hands on this ball as the clock ticks down, about 20 seconds left. And the Scottish forwards just try and eat up the clock. We'll be speaking to the referee all the time, just checking how long is left here. The referee assuring that the Irish stay on side. The referee indicates that time is up. And with that, Scotland kick the ball off to the park. And you can see what that means to the Scottish players as they win this under-20 Six Nations International and finished here at Netherdale, Scotland 21. Ireland 20. Well, we did really dig deep there. Our second half, we were pretty much against it. Uh, Simbin and everything, but the boys dug really deep there and showed we, we've been trading so much. In the, in the week on our defence, on our defence again, and they showed in this game, and the boys really dug deep today. It's fair play to Scotland; they came out firing, and we just we just didn't match them enough, so we didn't. So, you know, we just have to pick up from this here. Play, play in France two weeks time, just have to pick up and push on now. We want to win all the all the games we have left, and then get a chance of winning the Six Nations. But we just got to keep working week week after week, and just build up, build up, and uh, then we'll get the results. How much of a setback is it that result? Uh, it's it's huge in terms of the Six Nations, but our long our goals the World Cup. So you know we we'll learn from the, the mistakes we've made here and then we'll just push on. Fantastic, and uh, you know so proud of the players. We really had to dig deep. Um, there were parts of our game that weren't great. Uh, we made it difficult for ourselves in the first half by not playing to the game plan. And you know words were said at half time. Second half uh, we maybe went too far the other way, but you can, can't deny the character in this group of lads. They're absolutely fantastic and and never gave up.